Thank you, Jesus. Yes, they are checking in. Yes, the veteran is here. Shepard, Prakash, Janish, Shepard Hewood. Yes, they are checking in. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Ruth Brown. Well, you don't have to write them over, take your holy sons, just take them off. Let's take off from the old list. Yes, Sister Pitt, Sister Lord. What do you list? Let's take off. Recent paper. Yes, Ashton. Gorilla Toot. <laughs> French, Jennifer Watson, Janice Shepard. Rosalind Doyle. Yes, you are checking in. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't fight in the flesh. That's the problem with us. We don't. We don't call on the senator. We don't call on the president. We call upon Jesus. If God tell you to call on them, okay, call on them. But the weapons of our warfare. We are seeing it now, bowl and brazen, how the enemy operates. I told you in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 he destabilized the nations. The mighty America look at her today. Look at the confusion. Look at the anarchy, the rebellion. The great nation And all the nations are like that. Man's heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. That's why I love my Bible. Who can know it but God himself? Jesus make a statement that I've, I don't know if preachers use it. But it stick out in Jesus. The devil comment. And find nothing in me. He's the only one to say that. In other words, there was nothing in Jesus to respond. To yield to temptation. If Christ will yield to temptation, then he is not God. You'll have to extract the, godness, the, the, the God part of him out. Now, and that's what has messed up the church. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, they are spiritual. We can't, up to now we haven't, we are not willing to accept it. The pressures of the world, the world system is so embedded and it appeals to our carnal nature. That's right. It gets interwoven with our spiritual nature. Yeah, I know it's a little offside. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Just making some adjustment here, please. Glory. That's it. In the name of Jesus, we got to use the weapons of warfare. Forget what the world says. It's not the world in war. We are in war. They are just tools of the enemy, of the devil. We are not fighting the politicians. They are more pieces for the enemy. Some of them don't realize that. Some of them realize that. Some of them know that. Some have sold their selves over to the devil, yes. But there are those that are innocent. They don't know. Hallelujah. So we're going to use the weapons. Yesterday we dealt with the different gifts. That's right, from the Holy Ghost, yeah, gifts of the Spirit, not gifts of Brother Prescott. So it's the Holy Spirit that gives. He gives severally. Not I give, he gives. The onus is on him. The authority is on him. <clears throat> it's with him. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Not different spirits, please. And there are differences of administrations. Yes. How one it will administer, how one person will administer to it. There's a preacher. Tremendous man of God, Englishman. He will tell you he's praying for the sick. A gentleman come up to him, heart failure, bad. He called him and he took his face and in the name of Jesus, he, he said, you nasty spirit come out hit the man one punch on his chest. Mm. Mm. The man kick over, mm. fall down. People grasp. Mm -hmm. What happened? The man get up and begin to run heel. Another one, he took his face and poke it in the hole in his chest, cancer eating out his stomach and drive it down the man's wheel. The doctor said, we'll sue you. After a while, the man jump up and start to run up and down the whole clothes back. Now that's him. A lady preacher watch a hole in a man's neck. A skeptic sit down there and if she said, in the name of Jesus, she said, be close and ring it. Close right up. The skeptic preacher got saved. They don't operate the same way. That's why it's bad to copycat. A man uses jacket, everybody begin to use his jacket. You don't do that. Yeah. That's right. They operate differently, they administrate it differently by different folks. But the same spirit. The one is given the spirit of the word of knowledge, wisdom. We we did that. We did the word of knowledge. Nice knowledge be on you. Also, to another, faith by the same spirit. You don't hatch up faith. That's right. You can have mustard seed feet. But this is not mustard seed feet. This is the gift of faith. Only two people recorded in the New Testament in Jesus' day with great feet. And they were not even Jews or Israelis. They were Gentile dogs. Come on. 
and don't believe that if a Jew gets saved, he has an upper hand than the Gentile who never read the Bible. Uh -uh. You can't use that argument. Because the greatest doubters in the world are the people of the book, even the believers. Because we are persuaded the enemy speaks to you. You are finished. You are dead. There is no use. God don't answer your prayer. Look how long you're waiting. He hammers you with these things. Hallelujah. To another, the gifts of healing. That is the only plural one. Gifts. All the rest are singular. The gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. Not because miracles don't work in your life, that that one is greater. No. He didn't work for that gift of miracles. It was given to him for the benefit of the believers. Come on. To another prophecy. Prophecy is not to, uh, to enhance the believer to make a fortune. None of these gifts. They are not used for remuneration. Discerning of spirits to another various kinds of tongues and to another interpretations of tongues. These are enablements. This has nothing to do, please. Before we start the prayer, brethren, I want you to get that. It has nothing to do with your good works. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the brilliance of your mind. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with how much you have uh, memorized the scripture. Jesus. Man. Man with his flaws. Man that is wicked. Man that is a sinner. How could a sinner implement something that on paper is perfect? You're asking the impossibility. So therefore, the only one we can really turn to is Jesus. Hallelujah. And remember this. Albania is in trouble. And that will be a model for us across the world today. Whether it's in Africa, uh, it, it reveals itself in different forms. But the same devil... Same demons. Hallelujah. And in Albania, they are asking to pray for the believers. We'll ask Reverend Gift to lead us off. Kathleen Lefou to join us. Hallelujah. I need their brethren from, uh, from Uganda. All are listening. Or oh, Kenya. Or oh, London. Canada. Brother Harris. We want you, those names that I call. Sister Lord. That's four. And I noticed Tracy Gill, Bishop Gill's wife, is here. We'll ask her to join in. So that's five. Okay, the five of you would lead off in prayer. We would not see you. We know you're praying, and we are joining in. Hallelujah. Lord, we bring the believers in Albania, Lord. They are going through terrible times, Lord. The names that I call out, lead off in prayer wherever you are. If you're at home, you just go in prayer. Loud. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
the believers in Albania or brothers and sisters are going through heavy problems. Lord, for years they were under the heel of communism. They were the hardest communist regime. Harder than the North Koreans. They got a spite after the Berlin Wall, a little spite. Now they are under pressure again now. Forget the regime. It is who behind the regime. The devil, we don't want to say it, but that's from a scriptural standpoint. Whoever opposes the believer, the name of Jesus is Antichrist. Yes, Lord. Yes, we lift up the believers, Lord, in Albania. On the Adriatic coast, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, strengthen them, Lord. Resolve them. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Don't make them flinch. They've gone through years of pressure. Hallelujah. They've grown up under pressure. Hallelujah. Help them, Lord. The pastors, Lord. The deacons, Lord. All those involved that are saved, Lord. The brethren inside here, Lord, help them to stand up. Whatever the enemy throw at them, Lord, help them to use the shield of faith. Lord, we interceding on Albania believers, Lord. They sent to ask us to pray for them. I've never gone to Albania. Some of you have never gone there. But the brethren, the, pan the pandemic has stripped the country of whatever little that they had. Hallelujah. And the same pandemic, etc., is stripping America. Behind it is not the, is not the virus, is the thing, you know. Behind the virus. The enemy is using all these things against the church. Hallelujah. And when your brethren in an area is under pressure, we brethren that are not on that, that similar pressure to pray for them. They are our brothers and we are our brothers and sisters keeper. Today it might be their turn, tomorrow might be us. And at that time, we will be glad. Lord, will some, uh, you, uh, oh, one day the brethren are praying. Yes. We are praying. Yes, amen. This is not a local prayer meeting. It's a global Jesus, prayer meeting. Jesus. We exist in a world environment. Hallelujah. Jesus, God, Hallelujah. And the shakers of this world, the big countries, the powerful countries, they determine the behavior in your country. So this thing, Lord, Lord, you understand it better than us. Open our eyes that we can see. That the same enemy that harassed the believer in Albania is the same enemy that harassed us in a different form. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Practically in every country in the world, in this pandemic, I didn't say all, but the majority from the big ones down have put the church, the opening of the church to be last. Don't tell me that is not, that is natural. The riots that are going on in America has put a paid lie to that to that decision. Ah, they are not observing it. All they have is a mask on, and they jam like sardine in a can and demonstrating and carrying on. Nobody cares about the virus. But if the church opens up, the church will be the perverse of that. Behind it is the enemy. If anything should have kept open, 
I don't mean in the same uh, everybody jammed together, but on the, we could we could organize that. That's nothing to organize. We or, they organize they limit us to funerals and weddings only. Well, that you could have ten, and some countries is five. Come on. Come on. They have what you almost call it, they have almost castrated the operations of the church. Folks don't want to talk about this, but this is how the enemy works. Open every other thing, but keep the church alas. The church going to cause problems. No. The church could regulate itself. If they can regulate their services, uh, regulate the community, they could regulate themselves. We can work by guidelines. And now in Albania, now everything is open up. The country is hell breaking loose on the believers now. Lord, we ask you to help them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, help, Lord. Help the believers, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord and Sister Gil. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Today for them, tomorrow for us. Always remember that. It's one church. One body. One head. In the name of Jesus, this is time that we forget our, our local setup and look at our brothers and sisters around the world. They're the same thing like we are, only worse. Lord, help us, Lord. Help them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we down the strongholds of the enemy in Albania. We keep them at bay. We bind their works in the name of Jesus. You said what we bind upon earth shall be bound in heaven. You will not bind anything in heaven unless we bind it on earth. Lord, you gave us that authority. You gave us that power. You said what we bind upon earth not what he binds, then we bind. And that's Jesus talking. He said, here, here. So we bind the powers, the wicked powers that are working underneath in Albania. Hallelujah. Some of the men don't have faith. They don't have conscience. Their conscience is... We don't, we are not saying the government, please. No, sir. The government is made up of people. Authorities are made up of people. And the enemy uses whoever is willing. Okay, Garnish Masseri. Yes, he is, uh, whoever he is, is, seem to be African. God bless you. Hallelujah. That's a serious red ring. Our day might be around the corner, wherever you live. Thank you. Let us say praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you that we can pray for the believers in Albania. They, they, that's their cry. They've asked us, Lord. Tomorrow might be another country, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Albania. Yes. Strange enough, none of the leaders in America seemingly are happy for prayer. Don't bring the church in this, leave the church out. They're not asking. They're asking the psychologists and the experts. And they'll get a psychological answer. Hallelujah. The church is the only one who is equipped. And when I say the church, I don't mean denominations, please. Jesus. I'm talking about the body of Christ, yes. born again. Yes. Yes. I'm not talking about evangelical. They carve up this thing in America, evangelical, liberal, and this. The Bible doesn't do that. 
the Bible talk about sinners and saints. Good and evil. Right and wrong. Hallelujah. In Albania, they have protests going on. Uh-huh. And remember, <laughs> they're not like America. What you will get away with in America, you won't get away in those countries. With. Yes. Hallelujah. Good. I would like Prakash Sudin. I would like no. Jesus. Esther Bird. Yeah. I would like, hallelujah, brother and sister James, husband and wife, be always with us. I would like, hallelujah, Jerry Giff to join in. You're going to lead us in prayer. We will not hear you. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade the technology that I could see you. All right. But for the meantime, we know you are there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Miss Esther Bird. Yes. What can do? That's look like African. Yes, that person is out of Africa. God, you're going to join in with us. I pick in the names up here that I'm calling. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that these, Jesus. you understand me, protests will not get violent and get out of hand. Mm -hmm. But that God will calm the situation. Okay, lead off with us. In the name of Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Jesus, we're asking you to contain this protest, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, keep it in check, Lord. Jesus name. The undesirables, Lord, in Albania, Lord, you know who they are. Jesus name. Lord, these are perilous times you told us. Jesus. No safe place. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, we ask you to intervene, Lord. Let there be a, a calm in Albania. Oh God, what we call peace is not peace. It's a cessation of hostility and demonstration. That's not peace. That's tranquility. So we are asking for calm. The believers have peace. My peace I give unto you. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. This disturbance in Albania, we ask you, God, to bring it to naught, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Ah. Wake up the believers, Lord. Oh, that they will fight with the weapons of their warfare. Placards don't change anything, Lord. By the believer going in the road with a placard and all of this, hey, that's good. But we got to fight it by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. The weapon that we have is prayer and fasting and preaching the word. When we done prayer and fast, we preach the word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, quiet down, Albania. In the name of Jesus. Quiet down, Lord. That the gospel will have a chance to be preached. Yes, God. Because once they declare a state of emergency, nobody can operate. Jesus. Nobody. You can't reach the people one on one. You have to do like what I'm doing. They know that now with the pandemic, you have to say six. Six feet off or whatever it is. Hallelujah. 
that personal contact has been temporarily suspended, which, brethren, is only a prelude of what is coming. Holy Spirit, Jesus. Wake up, brethren. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes. Ask God, open our eyes. Open our eyes that we may see. Yes, Lord. Open our ears that we may hear. In the name of Jesus. Give us that word and knowledge that we will know. This is where the, the gifts of the Spirit come in. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost. So when something happens, God could tell us before and when the thing happens. Hallelujah. Our business is to get the gospel out. Hallelujah. I know that the church is incarcerated. And his last on the list to be allowed. We got to pray. We got to seek God. So this morning, Lord, it's Albania. Quiet down the situation in Albania, Lord. Lord, quiet it down. Quiet it down. We use our authority to quiet it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. That the church, that the believer may do its work. Jesus. Not just for us to go on uh, the beaches, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The lovely beaches on the Adriatic coast. And the summer coming up. And saint and sinner, go to the famous Adriatic coast mm -hmm. and lie down and enjoy the summer. Mm -hmm. and I'm not asking God for you, that, that God will quiet the area mm -hmm. for you to go and loll off on the beach. Jesus, my God. Jesus. I'm not saying you can't bathe. But once you're going on the beach, carry tracks. Talk to people about Jesus. Lord, open our eyes and give us when these opportunities come, Lord, we are able to take it, Lord. Help us. Help us. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That you have heard and answered yes, this Lord. second prayer, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we expect to hear good news coming out of Albania. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And in Albania, they want to put a chip. This virus. I know the virus is only <laughs> a forerunner. Like John the Baptist and Jesus. They're testing out. They put a chip so that you know you are tested. Ah. And in some areas like it, unless you, they check you out, you can't go in the bank. Yeah. So now we notice the chip is coming up. They talk about it in Almania. If I went to some function and six people in there got the virus, all those who were there, they want to know. And then they check you out. In other words, then, they tagging you. So when the Antichrist appears, no big deal. We are accustomed to that. Brethren, it is later than we think. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are praying that the churches around the world will open their eyes. Let's pray, please. Hmm. Did I call out some people here? Yes, I call out some folks. Yes, Ronald Bradshaw joined them. This is a new, uh, we are, this is a new item to pray upon, and this goes for every area around the world. No, that was the second one. Hallelujah, Ronald Bradshaw. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Esther Bird. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. Yes, we want you to lead out in prayer. Sister Ashton. Yes, hallelujah. And Sister Pitt, lead out in prayer. Carla, you going to come up just now. Hold on. God, lead out in prayer. We are praying that God will help them. Some places are martial already. This chip business. That's what the demonstration about. Once they put that inside of you, you could take it out. But the thing about it is, they could trace you on everything in your life. You have no more privacy. Yes, it is for the virus, but what's stopping them? They have your name with a number. Lord, as we lead out and pray, Lord, help us, Lord. Open our eyes around the world, every believer, to let us know it's later than we think. Brethren, it is later than we think. The time is short, so short. All these things, when you put them together, you see the forerunners. It's a warning to us to get up and go. To pump our time in seeking God. To pump our money in the kingdom of God. Not for high living, please. I don't live high all my life. I don't live swanky. Every cent I try to make it count in the kingdom of God. I have nothing to lose. Hallelujah. Christ must come first. Lord help us to burn that truth. Christ is above marriage. Christ is above money. Christ is above everything on earth. Seek me first. And Lord, you said, if any man, any man come after me and cannot deny his mother, his father, the wife, the children, for my sake, we don't do that. We behave as though we on planet Earth forever. Get, I will tell you, you're not here forever. Time flies so quick. Look at my beard. It was jet black. Mm. No, I can't even find one grain of black hair. Mm. All gone. Time has slipped away so quickly. That's why what you can do today, don't wait for tomorrow. Jesus. Tomorrow may never come. You may have to run something or something and you have to forget all you had to do and run and look after that one. Amen. Lord, help us, the church, the believers, every believer, from pastors, evangelists, to realize this is no time for playing the fool, but this is time to wake up. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, this is serious. In America, is serious. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing, nothing in America is certain now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For years, the experts, you, the so-called experts, talk about the demise of the American dollar. Oh, God. You, they talk about the collapse of the bank. The experts are saying it's just one step away from total collapse of the finances. They owe so much. They quarrel. In, I tell you what the Americans, you see it on TV. They said their grandchildren will have to pay the debt for today. They create the printing money that they don't have the backup. All governments do that. Tomorrow they could devalue. So the only true 
thing that we can depend upon, the only one is Jesus and his promises. Lord, help us, please. Lord, we thank you. There seems to be a, a so-called movement of people coming into the church. 9-11, it happened. In Albania, one church is full up, people standing up outside. But the pastors are asking, this pastor is asking, that they'll get a genuine revival, a move of God. That backsliders, you know many backsliders are outside there? Around the world? That they will come back to God. Those that are lukewarm. They are only Sunday morning Christians. Sunday morning and after that, goodbye. You don't see them anymore. They're running behind riches. They that will be rich fall into diverse snares and temptation and hurtful lots. I'm not saying riches are bad, but they that will be. They have to be. They must. Hallelujah. They are determined. Yes. You don't placate God with riches. Jesus. No, sir. Only the blood of Jesus could placate God. Hallelujah. Only the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Cleanse all your sin. You can't bribe God with things. You don't need it. Oh God, help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray that there'll be a genuine move of God in Albania and around the world. That there are no false moves. People rushing in afterwards and after everything normalized again, they go, Lord, we're tired of that. Tired of revolving doors. Come through on the main door. Go through the side door. Hallelujah. Let those that are named after the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Lord, help us. Albania is only, hallelujah, only a type. It's a prototype of the church around the world. All in America here. Lord, we use it as a prototype. But it's asymptomatic around the world. Forget all about this, um, uh, what they call it, hematic if you have the drug. Forget all of that. Yeah? I know it as a boy as, uh, what you call, typhoid, uh, typhoid Mary. That was the slogan. No, they give a nice Jesus. <laughs> scientific name Hallelujah. to it. In other words, you are a carrier. You are not Holy sick. Ghost. You don't know you are a carrier. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes. You don't know. You're not sick. Jesus, Jesus. Same thing with AIDS. Same thing with malaria. Jesus. Same thing with a lot, of, a, a lot of people. They are those that don't get sick, but they are carriers. Hallelujah, Lord. Asomatic and all of this thing. Hallelujah. Lord, we want a genuine revival, Lord. Revive your work. Revive the church, Lord. Not only in Albania, but around the world, around the world, around the world. Yes, Lord. Certain men have crept into the church, women likewise. Ordained before the condemnation. Tools of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah we got to have this as the discerning of spirits these days. We must have it to discern certain things. Hallelujah. Because uh, Satan himself has transformed himself into an angel of light. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Lord, help us, Lord, around the world. America everywhere. Help us. Help the believers, Lord. To stand up under the pressures, Lord. And not only stand up, to move forward under the pressures, Lord. And not only move forward, Lord, but also to declare boldly. Lord, give them boldness, boldness, boldness. Every believer, whether they all or the middle-aged or the young, Lord, boldness. We need it, Lord. From top to bottom, we need it. And that's where the Holy Ghost comes in. Lord, Holy Ghost, take over our lives. Total dominance. Where you can check us. Paul wanted to go into Asia once, twice, twice. The Spirit of God said, no. No. Then the night he dreamt, come over to Macedonia. Uh -huh. And when he went to Macedonia, he ended up in jail. A good cocktail he got. Jesus but out of that, ah, <laughs> out of that, the jailer, the superintendent of prison, he and his household got saved. It cost Paul and Silas a good cocktail and put them in the bottom of the prison in mud. Down there wasn't concrete. And their hands and their feet had stuck. But at midnight they began to praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? Jesus name. Hallelujah. The prison shake. Shake. He didn't call for his constitutional rights. What is my constitutional rights? Get a lawyer. Everything today in the church. Get a lawyer. Get this. Get the other. Nobody says, let's pray. Hmm. Our thing is beyond constitutional. The constitution that cannot fit for demons. Hmm. <laughs> you want to tell the demons and Satan, my constitutional rights, you can't do that. But thank God we have rights. In the name of Jesus. The women prayed, man. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. They prayed. They prayed. Yeah. They prayed. Until God dispatched an angel. Oh, my Lord. Jesus. And loosen him. You know who died? The soldiers that were chained to Paul. They didn't hear the chain. They didn't see nothing. Because the prisoners escaped. Jesus. They had to die in Paul's and Silas' place. Come on. Hallelujah. It's your life for the prisoner. My God. Jesus. That is constitutional rights. I like that. Jesus. It's time we use the weapons God gave us, man. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on. Let's stop playing church, man. In Jesus name. And let's pray. And fast and believe God until it break and God will break it. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let God break what He has to break, man. Hallelujah. 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 And last, Hallelujah, Lord. the Lord lay on my heart to pray again this today on this thing, man. They asked to, to pray for them that for food, things are rough. You hear that? You get in food. You get in food. Mm. There are so many food places you can go to. You see it on TV. Yes. You can turn up in the line and get a box. They have no box to get. Mm. Imagine that. They have no bread to get. 
Yes, you may not get bread, but you get flour. <laughs> so you can make bread. Stop complaining, American. Stop. Oh, God. And I'm talking to the believers. Believers, stop complaining. Mm. Thank God for how he supplies. They can't get. They're asking us to pray. Jesus. Pray. Oh, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. You know what we're complaining yes, about, Lord. brethren? Yes, we're Lord. complaining that we can't get with Texas Jesus. steak. We can't go downtown Manhattan or go someplace and eat out and have a nice big steak. Jesus. Uh huh. Mm, help us, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Then what are we complaining about? Mm. The restaurants are closed. And so you forget how to cook. Jesus. And food don't have to taste nice for you to eat it, please. You don't have to put salt in your beef. You don't have to put no seasoning. Just, just bake it. And when you don't cut it up and eat it, it's the food value, it's not the taste. Hold oh on, man. You think a hungry person have, you think they think about taste? Man, you, you starving, you worrying about taste. Everything, when things are bad with you, everything tastes good. Believers, don't complain that you can't eat the loaf of bread with two, three eggs and with ham and with this and the other. You forget that. God has supplied your needs. These people cannot get. Hallelujah. So I'm asking Carl I. Blaffitt to lead us off and all are going to join in. Sister Tracy Gill. Yes, she's still there. I'll call her. That's Bishop Gill's wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James from Tobago, you and your husband, we bring them back again. Hallelujah. We pray for them for food and finances. Things have deteriorated in there. Brethren, it's serious. I got up this morning, I took breakfast. Mm. You hear me? I ate some, uh, a little, what do you call it? Yeah. A pear, I mean, a peach, or whatever you call it. Two. I ate, had a little bit of melon and a banana for fruits. I did not buy it. Somebody brought it here. Sometimes God don't give you money. He give you kind. But we're so money conscious. You prefer somebody to give you $300 cash than they bring to your house. A thousand dollars worth of food stuff. Let us get off the cash business a little bit. God promised to supply all our needs, not some, all our needs, not our wants. Kathleen, the fool, join us. We're going to pray now that God will help the believers with food, etc., in Albania. Lord, we thank you. Lord, help the brethren in Albania. Supply them with food. At least, God, once or twice a day, you did that to Elijah. Twice a day, barbecue beef. And spring water. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. I thank God every day I get up, I'm alive. And I have a little something to eat. A little with contentment. The Bible said godliness with contentment is great gain. You know what great means? God is great. So it's God gain. Take out great and put God. 
you gain something. Godliness will come. Lord, help us, Lord, that godliness will be number one. And contentment, Lord. We had a glass of milk this morning, so what? God bless you. You drink it warm or you drink it cold. God gave you something. These people need it. Lord, Lord, supply at least one or two, two meals per day for them, Lord. Lord, open the windows of heaven, Lord. Send a truck their way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, nothing is too hard for you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We're running out of time until four o'clock this evening. Lord, and some of you in the prayer meeting you are not well upon you that the doctors get golden okay everybody in here hallelujah oh you are over ever I am the Lord that healed thee, that healed you. Everyone that is listening to me, whether you're partaking of this or not, I curse that disease upon you. Put your hand on your back, on your head, wherever you want to put it. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Whatever it is, Lord, it might be court case. Lord, the enemy, do them, Lord. Find the into the Christ. That is what you came for. these places, Lord. Hallelujah.
Thank you. 